What's going on? It's your boy that we're doing today. We're doing another action figure review. Today we're doing the Amazing Spider-Man Infinite Series Marvel Legends Boomerang, baby. Look at that boomerang, baby. Big shout out to Starly Quinn. I picked this up from her on her Facebook forum, Pop Culture Toy Collectors. Big shout out. Thanks you so much for having him. And I got to say, man, I'm highly impressed with this figure. He has He's a retool, of course, of the Bucky Cap mold and... The arms and legs of Baron Zemo from the Captain America wave, as you can see. Pretty good setup. I love his color. He has a it's a nice navy blue, unique blue. The light the light's making it look dark, but in person it looks like a, a lot different. Really cool, nice pearlized white. Um, the only complaint I have on this figure is a shoddy paint job. As you can see right here on his chest, he's missing specks of paint. See right there. Right in the middle, right here, and then he got some some navy blue rub on his shoulder. That's my only complaint. And then he got this birthmark on here. I don't know what the hell this shit is. It's like a pop a pop mark, I guess. He had a zit and he popped it. <laughs> Word up. Anyway, let's yeah, see. Look, missing paint. That's about it. The figures Hasbro been putting out lately been top notch figures, man. But they've been lacking on the paint jobs. I don't know why. Ever since the Wolverine wave, they've been slacking on the paint. So, but I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. It's a dope figure. I love this head scope. Look at this head scope. It's sick. The skin tone is dope. And as you can see, he's a Thunderbolt member. So basically, Thunderbolts is supposedly a government program for reformed villains. So. I'm kind of lost there because Punish is not a villain, Electra is not a villain. I know, I don't know nothing about Red Hulk. I've been, I haven't, I haven't read anything on him. I do have the figure though. Uh, I know Deadpool was a bad guy. I know Venom's a bad guy. So uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of confused to why they're on the Thunderbolts. But anyway, let's get into it with this guy right here. This figure is badass, man. He comes with a backpack, which is supposed to be two giant boomerangs, and four, he comes with four boomerangs. Now, this is another complaint about his boomerangs. He comes with two kinds of boomerangs. This is the big boomerang and a small boomerang. He holds the big boomerang perfectly fine in any angle in both hands. Right? The little one, he can't hold. It's mad small. You saw that? Let me do it again over the table so this way he don't hit the floor. Look. He could barely hold him. It slips right through. So what I do is, he got the trigger finger, so I put it between like that. So that's what I do for him to hold it. So that's another complaint. But other than that, I gotta say, man, he's dope as hell. Love him. <clears throat> this is the uh, variant to the Beetle. And... So, as, as far as articulation goes, he looks up a nice amount. Down, head goes side to side, ball joint and shoulders. Bicep swivel, double joint and elbow. Wrist swivel and it pivots up and down. He got the ab crunch, waist swivel, Hasbro Marvel Legend hip joint, upper thigh cut swivel, double jointed knee, boot rotation, and his ankle pivots forward, back, uh, back, and he has the rocker, of course. I like this figure. He is the must get in the in the a pull. Actually, they're all pretty decent figures. The Toxin kind of grew on me. I wasn't too psyched about Toxin, but um, after seeing a lot of pictures of him, I'm kind of I'm kind of like, you know, kind of feeling him and kind of wanting him. So I think I'm gonna try to get him. And the Spider Girl looks dope too, thanks to Shard Miss Prime review. Uh, I thought she was just a female mold, but it turns out that they did a lot of changes on her. So, I'm going to look into that. 
And that's it. Here's a size comparison to Akuma from the Soda Street Fighter figures. Street Fighter Wave. It's pretty big. I think the Street Fighter Wave is about six and a half, seven inches, seven inch figures. It's pretty big. Cool figure. Whoa. It's pretty big. That's how they look. It's ponytail. It's, it's, it's really a cool one's ponytail and, and gi that towers the figure. It's pretty cool. I think they go on scale. I think I could do a Marvel versus Capcom crossover when it comes to the figures. What you guys think? So, like I said, I mean, all the variants, the, the variant wave is pretty decent. I think he is the must-get. Everybody's hype about him. Just again, just keep a lookout for them because um, these figures, some of these figures have shoddy paint jobs. Well, that's my review, man. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you liked it. Please leave, leave a comment. Like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, like, my, uh, like my Facebook page or shoot me a request. Uh, and just holler at me in general, people, man. You already know. Give me some feedback. What you guys think about this figure? Talk to me. One.